ladies and gentlemen, presenting the 235-member Michigan Marching Band. Band, take the field. <laughs> of Professor Jamie L. Nix, the M. Fanfare. Yeah! Woo! What an intro! Hello, everybody! Welcome to Season 5, Episode 8 of the Pix Edition of Sports Frenzy! It is the big weekend of one of the most hyped rivalry games in the history of college football sports entertainment. Yes, indeed, I am talking the weekend of the big Michigan MSU game. I'm the coach. How's everybody doing this week? You know what? Technology is down. I don't have the intro video fixed yet. But we got a cell phone. We got a computer to record with. Uh, disclaimer, I take no claim to the music. So please, 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 YouTube, let me be able to piece this together with our video today and you don't edit us on it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but we've been having a lot of crazy, crazy problems with YouTube as of lately. And it's, yeah, it's, it's been real fun trying to film Sports Frenzy for you guys. But you know what? You guys are worth it. You're all worth it. We make it just for you guys, because we love you. Oh, as you can see... I am uh, on my own again tonight. Uh, Brother Rose was going to try and make a 
surprise guest appearance tonight, but um, unfortunately things didn't work out that way. Uh, Ike's not here. He is... Uh, I don't know what Ike's doing. <laughs> and so that leaves you guys, and it leaves me, by my closet. Yeah, we've scaled back the budget a little bit, so, uh, you know, I'm... I'm I'm filming by my clothes closet right now. That's all right, because I got some cool shirts in here. Go blue! Oh, and Matt, I can even do that. <laughs> in fact, a gift from my buddy Roger Schoonover. Go blue! Ah, yes. All right, everybody, so... These things are usually a lot more hyped than this, um, but it's funny because everybody with the, as far as the fun rivalry piece that we used to have, everybody, they've kind of separated us all. We've all been relocated. I did see, St. Crone, you are trying to completely dominate and take over the Hope Center. Uh, this year with your Sparty stuff. We did see that. It didn't go unnoticed. <sighs> but Bull's not there to put a stop to it. I'm not there to put a stop to it. What can we do? Some things get by us. Anyway, there's still, there, the rivalry's still there. It's still, you know, we all have that love-hate relationship, I guess. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to get to some of the picks. Um, we're going to start off with some high school football like we always do every week. So we're going to jump right into our games this week. I did briefly get to talk to Brother Rose. He is very busy this week, so um, we had to do, like, it was like uh, speed, pretty much. Uh, speed for his uh, picks. So, find my papers here that I dropped all over the place. Let's get to the picks. We're starting off with some high school football. Our first game is the zero wins and eight losses Dundee. They are traveling to the one win, seven losses Br Blissfield. Blissfield, I really was hoping you could get me a win last week. Counted on you guys for a win. They didn't get it done. Brother Rose, who is from Blissfield, believes they can get it done this week. He is choosing Blissfield. Blissfield, you have home field advantage. You are playing a team who has absolutely no wins under their belt. If you can't get it done this week, I'm done with you. I'm just telling you that right now. Done. That's it. I won't give you another one. I'm going with Blissfield this week. And this week, they let me down. It's over, Blissfield. Actually, it's pretty pretty uh, close to the season being over anyway. So, uh, yeah. A little minor camera adjustment here. There we go. All right. Um, our next high school football game, we have my wife's school, uh, where she graduated from, and uh, I lived there in Clinton for a while, so I kind of I stand behind the uh, Clinton Redskins. Um, they have eight wins and zero losses, and have a share of the tournament title already. They are traveling to. The, or, I'm sorry, eight wins, zero losses for Clinton. They're traveling to the two wins, six losses, Britt Deerfield. As you sure, I'm sure you know, Brother Rose went with Clinton, and there's no way I'm not going with Clinton on this one. All right. Um, next up, we have the uh, five wins, three losses, Onstead. And they are traveling to the two wins and six losses, uh, Central, or I'm sorry, not Central, Columbia Central. 
Brother Rose has went with Onstead, Michigan. Onstead, Michigan. He's went with Onstead. <laughs> Team Onstead wins is in Michigan. <laughs> oh, uh, and I am going to go with I'm going to go with Onstead. All right, we have the we have Ike School. Um, the five wins, three losses. Decumsey Indians. They are trailing to the three wins and five losses. Carlton Airport. This game is being played at Carlton Airport, and Decumsey, you have been falling apart as of late as well. Uh, but Brother Rose still believes in you. He has chosen you for the win. And five wins, three losses. Your loss record is catching up with you. I don't know if you guys are aware of that, but it is. Five wins, three losses for Tecumseh. Three wins, five losses for Carlton Airport. Although you did win the rivalry game against Tecumseh, uh, Adrian last week. I will go with Tecumseh for the win. All right, uh, still high school football. And we have the two wins, six losses, Adrian. They are traveling to the seven wins, one loss, cold water. Brother Rose is going with cold water. Sorry, Adrian. I have no – I'm sorry, my Adrian group, my Adrian, Adrian schools and friends over there and supporters. Team's not doing so good this year. Last week, as you all know, if you saw the video, because sometimes you guys don't always all get to see the video, I chose my old school, Addison, as my upset special because I was wearing Addison gear. So, Adrian, you guys know you stand strong. You stand and support your school, and I – I love that. I love that dedication. But making picks like I am, and, you know, we're already down in the dumps. The show's been uh, reduced to a, you know, bedroom with a closet, and uh, technology is shot at the moment. So don't beat me up too bad. We're already beat up and broken down at the moment. So uh, I am going to go with cold water. I'm sorry, Adrian. I'm sorry. Keep the booze down to a minimum. Don't hate me for it. I try to bring you still a, as high quality a show as I can. Don't, don't hate me. Don't hate me. I don't like to be hated. <sighs> and besides, you know, um, even knowing you have... Uh, I, <laughs> uh, never mind. I lost my thought on that one anyway. Um, our next game. This is... Oh, my goodness. This should be a good game. And it is our first three-point bonus game. Yes. It is our first three-point bonus game. We have the uh, seven wins and one loss, Hudson. These guys have been playing some nail-biter games that our sideline reporter and my good friend Rich Hallowell have been calling for us. Thank you so much for your continued input, Mr. Hallowell. And, but these games really, really uh, are borderline problems for him. But he's young, so he'll survive. They are traveling to the seven wins and one loss, Hillsdale. And I, I I, think, I don't know, this could be considered a rivalry. These guys are fairly close to each other. I'll have to check on that or my friends over at the uh, Hillsdale ISD might be able to shine some light on that and uh, tell me if this is Hillsdale has a rivalry with Hudson. And Brother Rose has gone with our Hillsdale audience. He is standing behind you guys because he loves you. Hillsdale. Man. Hillsdale has the home field advantage. Whew. 
This is going to be a good game, folks. This would be the game to go see this week, I think. If you don't, if you don't have a home, if your home team, if your team is having a terrible season, and you don't feel like going, to, and you want to see a good football game, I'm hopeful this one's going to be a good game. Hudson won their last game pretty widely. Hillsdale did too. Man, this is such an even battle here. I am going to have a tough time calling this one. I really am sorry, Hillsdale. I am going to have a hard time calling this one. But you know what? I am going. And my friend and my buddy, I'm going to tell you right now, Rich Howell is not going to be real happy with me. He's not. He's not going to be happy with me at all. But I'm going with my Hillsdale audience and my Hillsdale family over there in Hillsdale. Hillsdale for the win is what I got going on here for my three-point game. Hillsdale for the I don't, it's not really an upset because you both have the same records, but Hillsdale pulls away with the win. All right, uh, still high school football. We have the five wins and three losses, Whiteford. They are traveling to the struggling, and I do mean struggling, Sand Creek Aggies. Three wins and five losses. Rose didn't even hesitate on this one. He gave Sand Creek no chance. Rose went with Whiteford. And I'm sorry, Aggie fans. I apologize if there's any of you that love our show, that I'm not showing them the love. I have to go with Whiteford for the win. All right, and so it begins. We are on to our college football games. And... Our first game, we have the seven wins, zero losses. They are ranked third in the nation, and that would be Ole Miss. They are traveling to the six wins, two losses, ranked 24th in the nation, LSU. Brother Rose has gone with Ole Miss, and I don't see any upsets happening there. I am going with Ole Miss as well. All right, next up is the rivalry game, and it just happens to be our other three-point bonus game. Yes, the three-point bonus game of the week, the second three-point bonus game of the week, comes with a bonus flag. No, it doesn't. Um, we have the three wins, four losses, struggling Michigan Wolverines. They are traveling. This game is in Lansing. They are traveling to Lansing to play the six wins, one loss, ranked eight, MSU. Brother Rose has chosen the Michigan Wolverines. And you all know I am never, ever going to go against the Go Blue Michigan Wolverines, baby, for the upset in this game. Yeah, baby. Michigan for the win. Go Blue. Go Blue. All right. Go Blue. And next up, we have uh, still NCAA football. We have the five wins, two losses, uh, ranked 20th in the nation, USC. They are traveling to the five wins, one loss, ranked 19th in the nation, Utah. Rose, Brother Rose, has gone with USC. I don't know why Rose went with USC. Probably because I was rushing him on the picks. Um, but I think, man, I think to make it 
Well, we'll make it interesting this week. I am choosing Utah. Uh, All right, next up, we have the five wins, two losses, ranked 22nd in the nation, West Virginia. They are traveling to the five wins, two losses, not ranked at all, Oklahoma State. Brother Rose has went with West Virginia. Hmm. I am going to just play it safe and go with West Virginia also. Because I'm not sure about this game. That's, that's an iffy game to me. All right. Next up, we have the seven wins, four losses, Hillsdale College Chargers, and they are traveling to the three wins and nine losses, Tiffin. Tiffin. Brother Rose is one with Hillsdale. No hesitation on my part. I am going with Hillsdale as well. At the sound of the tone. Please turn to page two in your book. Ding! How many of you that are watching right now are old enough to remember that? Probably not many of you. All right. Um, we are still. We have one NCAA football game left. We have the three wins, three losses. Wisconsin Lutheran traveling to the five wins, one loss. Adrian College. Brother Rose has Adrian College, and I have Adrian College as well. Um, you may have heard there's a few, little bit of baseball still going on. Something called the uh, World Series. I really have no interest in this game. I people are like, oh, and it's you know, it's two wild card teams getting in this year. I don't care. I'm done with baseball now. Tigers are done. I'm done with baseball. But, so you guys can decide, because, you know, not everybody are Tiger fans. We have the uh, 89 wins, 73 losses, Kansas City Royals. They are playing the 88 wins, 74 losses, San Francisco Giants. And the series is tied at one apiece. Your next game will be Friday night at 7 o'clock, I do believe. Brother Rose has chosen Kansas City. Kansas City for Brother Rose. I am going to make a bold statement on this one. I don't know how bold it would be considered, or stupid maybe. I don't know. But hey, let it be known, I've made some other pretty stupid decisions at times. <laughs> the coach is not going to choose this game because I have no more interest in baseball. So I'm out on this pick. I don't care who wins. I haven't been watching it. haven't been paying attention to it. I'll get it for you guys for scores, post some stuff on Frenzy if need be. But baseball season's over to me, so. All right, we're going into hockey season. Hockey season is in full swing. And we have the, oh boy. Uh, four wins, four losses. Boston Bruins. And they are traveling to the three wins, three losses. And I believe how it is, is one overtime loss. I don't have Brother Rose like be in touch with right now, but I it's been a while since I've done this. So I forgot. <laughs> Brother Rose has gone with the Boston Bruins. They're coming out firing. And I agree with him. I am gonna go with the Boston Bruins as well. 
Next up, obvious choice for both me and Brother Rose. We both have the Detroit Red Wings. But just so you know, their record is three wins, one loss, two overtime losses. They are trailing to the Philadelphia Flyers, who have two wins, three losses, and two overtime losses. We both have the Detroit Red Wings. Our last hockey game is the three wins, two losses, zero overtime losses, and the four wins, zero losses, and two overtime losses. Pittsburgh. Wait a minute, I just screwed that. Never mind, I just screwed that hell up. All right, let's do this again. Three wins, two losses, zero overtime losses, Pittsburgh Penguins. They are traveling to the four wins, zero losses, two overtime losses, Nashville Predators. Nashville Predators have home ice advantage. Brother Rose has chosen the Pittsburgh Penguins. I am going to go with the Nashville Predators. Just to be different once again. NFL football action. This is an early game. Yes, I say early because for some odd reason or another, we're playing in London, England. Why are we playing football in London, England? I have no idea. Why are the Detroit Lions there playing football in London, England? I have no idea. This game will be televised at, yes, 9.30 in the morning. That's right. You heard me correct. 9.30 in the morning, our time. Should be interesting. Sorry, but I have no interest in watching my Lions play at 9.30 in the morning. I want them, you know, so people that go to the church can go to church, come home, and be ready for some football. Instead, now... 9.30 in the morning, the Lions play. And uh, what are you going to do with your afternoon? <laughs> what football game are you going to watch? Let's hope there's some good ones on. We might have to check that out and see. All right, the Detroit Lions have five wins, two losses. They are playing the two wins and five losses, Atlanta Falcons. Jet lag going to play a factor in this? I don't know. Uh, being in a different area, is this an arena? Is it an outdoor game? What do we got going on? I have no idea. Um, I haven't really, I haven't really seen. You know, it's been talked about, but I haven't really. It's been a busy week for the coach, so I haven't really got a lot of details on this game for you. All I know is Brother Rose went with Detroit. I'm going with Detroit as well. Early game, 9:30, 9:30, 9:30 is kickoff. I would uh, seriously like to see what, um, you know, what, uh, you know, normal Sunday morning life, church and everything else. I kind of honestly want to see, I would love to see the numbers of what this Sunday is going to look like with an early game like this. <laughs> okay, moving right along. We have the three wins, three losses, Seattle Seahawks. They are traveling to the three wins, three losses, one overtime loss. Well, one tie, actually. It's it's a tie in, uh, in uh, football. So one tie. Carolina Panthers. It's in Carolina. I like the Panthers' chances. So does Brother Rose like their chances. All right. Um, and our last NFL football game of the week. We have the three wins, four losses, Chicago Bears. They are trailing to the five wins, two losses, New England Patriots. Brother Rose has one with the Patriots. I am going with the Patriots as well. All right. This week's, uh, I am giving Rose's taking Kyle Bush, 
And I am taking Kurt Busch as far as our racers go. And I can tell you, even though everybody's still racing in the race, I know for a fact, this is some news, that, that uh, Jimmy Johnson and Dale Earnhardt Jr. are both out of contention for the race for the cup this year. So everybody's still racing, but there's no possible way they can get the final win of the season this year. So that's what we know about NASCAR at the moment. We have a WWE pay-per-view. This is going to be tough. I haven't been watching WWE much lately. I've kind of... Boycotted it because of all the crappiness that's been on there as of late. Not a huge fan of what they're putting out right now. Brother Rose has made his picks. This pay per view, Hell in a Cell, I think he said. He forgot to put it on here. I don't know. Can't fault him for that. He's a busy man. Anyway, our first matchup is a guy you might know as Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose. Doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, actually it does. I'm screwing with you. Um, he is facing Seth Rollins. Jamie has chosen Dean Ambrose for the win. And I like Dean Ambrose, so I'm going with Dean Ambrose for the win. Here's a first time match you've never, ever, ever seen this match before. Except for several other times when I've wrestled previous to what they're going to wrestle right now. We have Randy Orton and John Cena. Um, Jamie thinks John Cena is going to get the, get the win. I'm going to agree with him because from the facts of a little bit of filing we're doing, we're hearing that Randy Orton's about to go babyface. So Cena's going to get the win, and then the authority is probably going to come out and beat up Orton or something because he didn't get the job done once again. So. For another rehash storyline for you. There you go. It's the big show. Taking on Lucif. Didn't do that justice at all. Ike does a good. <clears throat> that sounds like I'm just coughing up a lung. Lucif. And it's the big show. Big bad show tonight. Lucif. Still sounds pretty pathetic on my part. Brother Rose has Rusev. <laughs> I don't know why it's like that. I'll just say it like this. Rose has Rusev for the win. I have to agree with him because speculation, news being said, a picture uh, put online from the one and only one of the other American heroes out there. Kurt Angle has said he is coming back to WWE. He's been training, getting strong, and he's going to face Rusev. So there you go. I got Rusev winning big over the big show. The big bad show tonight. Yeah. And that wraps up our picks. Uh, not a lot of news going on right now, but I do have a few, maybe a few things for you here, so we'll touch base on that. Um, a few things I did here. Uh, da -da -da. Let's see here. Oh man, here's a big one. Uh, and this this guy, uh, you know. He uh, switched teams, and I was like, oh, no, one of my favorite basketball players is playing for one of my arch, old arch enemy teams, um, Steve Nash, when he went to the Lakers. Well, I'm sad to report that Steve Nash is out for this entire season with a bad back. I have a feeling uh, if it's anything like how Larry Bird was, his career is over. He'll be retiring probably real soon, so... Uh, Wish a speedy recovery for you or whatever you need to do to be uh, safe and help yourself, Steve Nash. We here at the Frenzy, heck of a ball player, dude. I will miss seeing you out there playing. I will miss seeing uh, you get Pete if this is indeed the uh, end of your career. But uh, best wishes to you and a speedy recovery. 
in whatever you decide to do. Um, go. The sports friendly page. Oh, interesting story coming out of uh, from Jalen Rose, who is one of the original, you know, Michigan Fab Five. Jalen, man, he is—he's been all over the place. I try to give Jalen the benefit of doubt about things, but now Jalen is putting his two cents in on the Michigan situation right now. And I don't know. I'm not sure. I like where he's going. He thinks Dave Brandon's still going to be the athletic director at the end of the season. And he thinks we should bring in Les Miles as our coach. Les Miles. And to Jalen Rose. He said there's no possible way, after the way this season has went, the coach Hope can hold on to his job anymore. I'm going to be disappointed about this, you know, but no, not Les Miles. Nobody likes Les Miles. I've heard Les Miles is a, he's a jerk to work for. That's what I've heard. Uh, my inside sources have said, so I don't know. Take that for what you will. Some Michigan fans might cheer that. I'm staying open-minded. I'm not even going to talk about it right now. Coach Hoke is my coach. This is my team. I am sticking with my team as it currently stands, but we're just reporting the news as we have it. Uh, Tory Hunter says that uh, he's got his eyes on playing here in Detroit next year, so we'll see where contract talks go with that. Michigan has slashed, no surprise here, Michigan has slashed their ticket prices for next season. Uh, the average ticket package went for 280 bucks. They are cutting it down to $175 to say thank you to former fans, or to, well, to fans in general. Uh, but that goes for our fly-by-night fans, too, who have been not showing up. Um, as you may have heard earlier in the week, um, one of the Michigan monuments was um, messed with uh, MSU. Struck first blood with this, I guess, this year. Painted it green and put the SU by it. Um, so it's funny in a sense, but paranoia to an extent, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should enter a disclaimer right here because the comments I'm about to say reflect the comments of Coach Co and Coach Co only. Not the whole Spenzy Sports Frenzy crew. Although some members of the, other members of the Sports Frenzy crew might share my point of view on these things. What I'm about to say is strictly coaches saying. I'm a co-owner of the show, so I can get away with saying what I want. <laughs> I can't be fired. <laughs> anyway, I feel it's a little paranoia going on in Michigan State, and I feel maybe it's coming from a little bit of the haze in the air, a little too much smoke from all those burning couches over the seasons. But uh, Michigan State felt that until this game is over, they've now had to stay by their statue and have a uh, 24 hour, what was that even on camera? 24 hour uh, coverage to protect their statue because they think Michigan's going to come retaliate. There you go. That is that wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. That was actually mild for me, you know? Yeah, it's rivalry week. I gotta get a few little digs in, you know. You guys have been doing it. Michigan State's been doing it. All right. Um We got preseason rankings for NCAA college wrestling, and I do like my college wrestling. Uh, Ike used to wrestle for a while. My brother Brant was a wrestler, and I love wrestling. 
this is uh, this is the time of year I like to watch it again. So the preseason polls are in for wrestling in your top team this year, and this might even catch Kate Seeley's eye because she is a Minnesota girl. Her Minnesota team is ranked number one. This is a boo bah humbug as far as I'm concerned. Ohio State is ranked number two. Iowa is ranked number three. Carnell is ranked four. Uh, Penn State is ranked fifth. Oklahoma State is sixth. Eden, Eden Burrow, seventh. Northwestern, eighth. Um, Missouri, ninth. And Nebraska is tenth in the Intermat preseason rankings for wrestling. So there you go. Uh, Coach Babcock is under huge contract negotiations with the Red Wings. And this is going to be a tough one, folks, because he wants a huge amount of money to stay here. Um, this I've, I've heard, <coughs> excuse me, I've heard this isn't unusual for Coach Babcock to want money. What do you guys think? Do you think Coach Babcock is worth that kind of money to stay with the Red Wings? We'll see. I don't know what he's asking for exactly yet, but he's worth a great good amount of money. I mean, so there you go. Coach Babcock in negotiations, wanting some huge money. Um, I think that's pretty much going to sum it up for us. Yep. I don't. It doesn't look like I have. I have anything else? Let me see. Check one other thing here for you. All right, I think that's all I have for you this week. Whoa, what the heck was that? All right, that's all I have for you guys this week. Hey, everybody, get out there and watch some football this weekend or go out and have a great weekend with whatever you like to do. It is rivalry week. Game is up in Lansing at... 3.30, I believe, kickoff is. Um, we have a game being played right now. Thursday Night Football, we have uh, San Diego Chargers 0 and Denver 7. So that is our score right there. All right. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'm the coach. I love you all. Be blessed, everyone. We'll talk to you again. Oh. Recap show will not be shot Sunday night due to the wrestling pay-per-view. We will do it Monday and have it ready for you Tuesday. So one little – it's not really a setback. It's nothing normally we don't do, but that's it. The pay-per-view lasts a little longer than we normally like, so we won't get that shot Sunday night. It will be for you, ready for you Tuesday. All right, everyone. Once again, be blessed. I'm the coach, and I love you all. Coach is out of here. <laughs>